Hey, what's up, family? Welcome to Ask to My Aunts, where we're going to challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. And I'm sitting here um, watching the game. Asante in the background eating his Fruit Loops. This is last meal before surgery. That's supposed to be taking place tomorrow. Last meal <laughs> his last surgery. meal. And Mrs. Maada is over here. Putting, I'm putting socks on. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all, we just wanted to come like, to you. Don't you need to turn them down? No. Yeah. And do this video real quick. Um... Just to give you an idea in terms of like, you know, a day in a life and what we deal with, go through, and, and uh, <sighs> what we're looking forward to in terms of the surgery, post-surgery, and, uh, boo, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, um. You made me spit up milk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cut that down some more. Hey, <clears throat> boo. So I'm trying to be a, so you know, I'm just, <laughs> 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 you know, I make it, trying to be all official in the video. Well, so, go ahead, babe, I'm sorry. Yeah, before I was rudely interrupted. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to, um, Why are you, saying bad like yourself, you know, just, just process with Asante, see how he's feeling. Um, a whole bunch of you all, and I actually want to say thank you, but a whole bunch of you um, you know, shared your thoughts and your concerns <laughs> and your feelings. And... What's so funny? <laughs> Did I miss something? I can't remember. I can't remember what it like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But nah, but, but thank you to everybody who expressed, um, who, um, you know, gave us their well wishes. Is this, and... is this necessary? <laughs> who gave us their uh, <laughs> their well wishes? So we got a lot of we got a lot of love from people in turn. You did this. What happened? I think you spit in the bowl. The next part, you spit from your straw. I'm just playing. I did not spit. <laughs> but nah, thank you to everybody who um, you know wished Santi well. I can't do that. Do I? <laughs> um, you had a whole bunch of people that were wishing you well in terms of your surgery. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, hoping thank the best you. for you. Say thank you to the folks at your at your rec center and. Oh yeah, schools. thank you guys uh -huh. for um giving me the notes that they give me the cards that you guys gave me. I really appreciate it. What kind of bed is this? What? what kind of bed is this? This shirt is just moving all up under me. <laughs> oh, but, I guess um, it responds to the pressure. Hey, but check this out though. I mean, one thing that I do want to say is that, and I want to say this to you as well, Asante, is that. You know, some of you all may have heard me call him by another name other than Asante. His middle name is Dwa, and um, Dwa means <laughs> it means tree or um, strong rooted. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, we think that, or well, we try to emphasize and lift up the fact that it's important to be strong rooted. So, um, Dwa, as you go through this surgery, um, just know that you are strong, and um, you know your roots are firmly um, planted in solid and deep soil, secure soil, and then we got you. And I know everything is funny right now, but, um, again, we got you, and what? you're the only one that's laughing. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just want you to know that, you know, when you come out, we have your back, and, um, you know, you can no, always lean on us. No, it's So, so my question for you is, what's supposed to be happening? What's supposed to be taking place? Um, uh, so, if you if you guys know that I had a surgery before, and basically what they're doing is the same thing, core decompression. Or they're, they're not doing core decompression this time. No, but they're basically doing the same thing. They're drilling the two holes. Well, not two holes, but they're like making a space for for the fixator to go into my leg. Mm -hmm. And then that'll separate the bone so that it'll grow back. And they'll mm -hmm. take the stem cells and put them inside where that is so that they can, it can form back into mm -hmm. uh, uh, like a, a full hip. Yeah. Right? So why are you so, doing this? Hold on. Why are you doing this? So that I can play basketball. Is it just so that you can play basketball? Yeah. Wow. 
That's going to be my motto. That's, that's going to be my motto when I'm a basketball player. It's going to be like, he has sickle cell, but that wouldn't stop him. But that wouldn't stop him. <laughs> I know that's right. So so for those of you who are a little more interested in exactly what Asante's doing, you can Google hip extraction. He's having a hip extraction. And what he told you is correct. Basically, if you had two joints here, right, the, the, the doctor's going to go in. It's going to lift the joints up off of each other like that. It's going to stick two, um, I'm sorry, going to stick some stem cells in there in between the two. And he's also going to put what's called an X fixator into Asante's hip that he'll have to wear for four months. But that X fixator is, for all intents and purposes, it, it, to me it looks like a contraption, a metal contraption kind of sort of. Um, that sits outside of his body, and there's two rods that are there that hold, again, those two joints up off of each other so they can start rubbing on each other and wearing down his hip. And meanwhile, those stem cells will be in there moving around, helping him to create and grow a new hip. But what I want you guys well, to know... What's oh, the need for it now, though? I well, mean, I, 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 let me... Can I, can I finish? Thank you, babe. What I want you guys to know is that this surgery is not required. This surgery is optional. Let me say that again. This surgery is not required for our son. This surgery is optional. But our son, our courageous, brave son, who is wise beyond his years, said to us, I want to do it because I want to play basketball, because I want to run, because he wants to do more than he's able to do now. And, and, <coughs> and, and I think that Explain you, Explain the limitations. Asante, they don't know what uh, the limitations are now. I think that you, Asante, are... A great inspiration, <clears throat> not only for so many people looking, but for me, for your for your father. Because what what my husband just said is, you know, you all don't know the limitations. But Asante, for two plus years now, has not been able to run. I mean, it's not like he doesn't do a little bit sometimes, get a little scoot in his step and do a little bit. But for the most part, he's not been able to run. The doctors have have, have said he should not do that because he will further damage his hip area, which means what he can't participate in and sports that he might otherwise want to participate in, like basketball, um, that kind of thing. Um, so so for him, an 11-year-old boy, that's a big deal. N not just for an 11-year-old boy, for many of us that would be a big deal. But also, at the same time, you can adjust. You know, you can do other things. Mm -hmm. You can play ping pong. You can play golf. You can play chess. You can do all kinds of things that don't require you to run. And so, again, <coughs> this surgery is not required. It's optional. Just like growth in life is not required, it's optional. And my son, oh my goodness, and, and he's such an um, example for me. He has chosen to grow. He has chosen to go through something that's going to be initially a little more difficult because he's going to have this thing on him and he's going to have to have physical therapy and it's going to be hurting him somewhat and he has to go through that process <coughs> so that he can get to where he wants to be. And he wants to run. He don't want to walk. He wants to run. So if you want to run in your life, if you want to get to the next level in your life, in your relationship, in whatever it is that you're focusing on, you have to go through some things. And let my son, let our son be an example. Because you are an example to me, Asante. You are. I know you say, hey, that's what I want to do, so that's what I got to do. So I'm going to do it. But guess what? Everybody doesn't do that. Everybody doesn't do that. Growth is not required. It is optional. Are you willing to do what you need to do? At the end of the day, remember always to stop playing. And what is that? Start pushing. Start pushing. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. We'll cover your face up. <laughs> now let me say in that video, Okay, can you can you include in there? <laughs> can you include in there? That's sickle cell, but that wouldn't stop. But that wouldn't stop. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs>